Vice President Kashim Shatima is among world leaders attending the G77 and China summit in Havana, Cuba. Issues of climate change, the growth of science and technology, as well as economic recovery of member states in the aftermath of COVID-19 pandemic dominate the discussions here. It's an opportunity for Senator Shatima to share the renewed hope agenda of President Bola Tinubu's administration with his counterparts while seeking to deepen Nigeria's bilateral relations with countries of the world. Nigeria's demographic advantage is not limited to the absence of an aging population. Nigeria stands as a beacon of youthful talent and innovation. These young citizens are not only dedicated to integrating the human elements into the evolving technological sphere, but their efforts also expand to diverse fields, ranging from telemedicine to the automation of agriculture, all with the aim of making our daily lives more seamless. Allow me to reiterate Nigeria's commitment to partnering, to, to, to partnering with our fellow member nations of the G77 and China. We shall champion initiatives that harness the potential of science, technology, and innovation to confront economic challenges, particularly within the global south. Leaders at the summit, in their separate remarks, emphasized the need for cooperation among member states in achieving their shared vision. If vaccines and protective gear were viewed as being necessary for the common good of mankind, then things could have been different. This is a stark reality confronting us because of the lack of equitable access to technology and innovation. We cannot, however, allow this reality to defeat us. We have to find our own means to develop our own technology. We do have, historically and in the contemporary period, shared expressions. But those shared expressions must be strengthened. And where we have shared experiences, those shared experiences must be translated into structured, shared expressions in solidarity, in our interest, and the interest of humanity. The G77 plus China summit has in attendance heads of states and governments from over 100 countries of the world, including officials of the United Nations. Emperor Simon, Channels Television News.